we're going to solve 3 minus the quantity 5 minus absolute value of x equals 6. We're going to start by getting rid of these parentheses and distributing a negative 1. It's going to get applied to the 5, and it's going to get applied in front of the bars to the negative 1 that's there. But we're not breaking into the walls or applying things inside the bars, and we're going to keep the bars the whole time. So we have 3 minus 5. This is more or less negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5, plus absolute value of x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1 is there, but I don't need to write it equals 6. Remember, my goal is I need to isolate the absolute value of x without dropping the bars, somehow passing things inside the bars. Next, we're going to combine like terms, negative 2 plus the absolute value of x equals 6. We'll do our additive inverse, add 2. The bars are still there. And now we are going to drop the bars. Before we do that, we might want to double check if this is a no solution situation. It would show up here. So we ask ourselves, are there numbers that are eight units away from zero? And there are. If for some reason there was a negative still here and we look over our work and there isn't an error, then that means we would just put no solution. This says we need numbers that are eight units away from zero. And there's one to the left, which is negative 8. And there's one to the right, which is positive 8. There are two answers. You can also write them this way. 